This is Tune Up Thursday. My name is Willie Wright. Thank you so much for tuning in. Listen, there are some things that athletes want to do. They want to perform at peak performance. But elite athletes always want to perform at peak performance. And so what's important for them is consistency. You know, it's one thing, and I was an athlete, it's one thing to uh, hit the ball uh, well or have a good game or hit a golf ball and have a good game or um, run your best run um, every now and then and so forth. But it's another thing to be consistent and consistently perform at peak performance. And got a good one for you to jumpstart your day. In order to be successful in life, you got to be consistent. In order to reach your life with pursuits, you got to be consistent. Got a good one for you to jumpstart your day to bring joy to your morning. And it's coming at you right now, real fast. <laughs> Welcome to our Thursday devotion to jumpstart your day to bring joy to your morning. My name is Willie Wright. I got a good one for you. We're talking about consistency. Listen, if you want to be successful, there are three key disciplines that you have to have to reach your life pursuits, to reach your goal. One of them is commitment. We talked about that in our other uh, video on last week. But the other thing is consistency. You want to be successful in life. You want to reach your life pursuits. You got to get a handle, and be good at consistency. So we're going to talk about that today. And um, here's our text. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11. That's going to jumpstart us. That's going to springboard us off into our devotional thought today. That's Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11. I'm going to read it in your hearing. This is what it says. And this is Solomon speaking. He says, I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, and the battle is not to the warrior, and neither is bread to the wise, nor wealth to the discerning, nor favor to men of ability, for time and chance overtakes them all. Solomon observed that there are other factors which are needed to make a person successful, also for a person to achieve their life pursuits. I believe one of them is consistency. You got to be consistent, everybody. Now, um, there are two life pursuits that the Bible makes imperative for you and I to achieve. There's only two of them. Number one is we must pursue our purpose in life. Pursue your purpose in life, your purpose for you being in existence. That's the first thing that the Bible lets us know. Um, that we, you and I should pursue. According to the Bible, the creator has a plan. And of course, if there's a plan, there is a purpose. One of my favorite texts is Jeremiah chapter 29, 11. This is what it says. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So it is very clear in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that the creator has a plan for your life. So if there's a plan, there got to be a purpose. And so one of the key things um, that you and I must do is pursue your God-given purpose, God-given purpose and plan for your life. There is no manufacturer on the top side of the earth that's going to create a product and not have a plan and a purpose for it. So the creator has a plan and purpose for your life. That's the first thing that you ought to pursue in life. The second thing is that you must pursue eternal life. That's the two things, your purpose for living, your existence, and you must pursue eternal life. In fact, in um, the Bible, it lets us know in, well, before I go that, 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 before I go there, I want to give you some examples of that. Jeremiah and Isaiah testifies to the fact that the creator had a plan for their life. And I can imagine that God has a plan for you and our, our lives. In Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5, this is what it says. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet 
to the nation. That's Jeremiah talking. Now listen to what Isaiah says in Isaiah 49, verse 1. He says, listen to me. I, before I was born, the Lord calls me, called me. From my mother's womb, he has spoken my name. Incredible, everybody. Incredible. So Isaiah says, listen, God has a plan for your life, just like he had a plan for my life. And what I've discovered is that every purpose and plan that God has for each individual is always a big plan. It's bigger than life. You study the life of Jeremiah, uh, jo not Jeremiah, Joshua, sorry about that. Joseph, Joseph, when you study his life in Genesis chapter 37 to 50, you'll find that Joseph's life, God's plan for his life and purpose for his life was bigger than life. In fact, it was not selfish. It was bigger than he had. He was. It was not selfish. So God's plan is always for your life. It's always bigger than life. And it always includes more than you. It also includes others. And look at the life of Joseph. You'll find that to be true. So the second thing is eternal life. Pursue eternal life. That should be your number one thing to pursue eternal life. That is, those are the two things that you must pursue in your life, eternal life and your purpose for your existence in this life. This is what the Bible says in Matthew 6 and verse 3. It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's what it says. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Those are the two pursuits that you must have. Don't pursue and avoid pursuing those things only that is temporal in life. Like cars, clothes homes, those types of things, position, those types of things. Those are only temporal, everybody. It's eternal life that has value. Um, it's pursuing your life purpose that has real value in life. So don't get, ca get caught up just pursuing cars and houses and position and those types of things. You need more than that. So uh, now in order to be successful in life, in order to achieve your life pursuit, you got to be consistent. So let's look at this thing, this idea, this virtue called consistency. Now, the Cambridge Dictionary gives a really good description or de definition of what consistency is. This is what they say. Always happening or behaving in the same way. Being in conformity with a set of rules or guidelines or policies. That's consistency. That's consistency, everybody. And if you want to achieve your life goals, um, your life pursuits, you got to be consistent. You have to always be performing in the same way or behaving in the same way all the time. All right. Um, in order to do that in the 1980s, in the early part of 1990s, the word consistency was um, really at its peak. But it, as we move toward the 2000, um, it began to drop. That gives me the indication that people are not as consistent as they used to be. Now, I'm going to give you nine keys. I'm sorry I'm giving you so many, but they're all important. So I just got to give them to you. Nine keys on how you can be consistent and achieve your life pursuits and your goals. Here they are. Number one, you got to identify your goals in life that you want to achieve. All right. You got to identify your goals that you want to achieve in life. That's number one. Number two, you must identify those things that you need to do to reach your goals. Identify the goal. Identify the things that you need to do to reach your goal. That means you might have to get up a little earlier to reach your goal and go or go to bed a little earlier to reach your goal. All right. You got to identify what you need to do to reach your goal. You might need to go back to school or whatever it might be to reach your particular goal. Number three, develop a schedule, a written schedule, not in your head, but a written schedule so that you can be consistent in life and, and, and in turn reach your goal and your pursuit in life. Have a daily schedule. Also develop a system, a daily routine, a system. I can't say... Um, enough about developing a system in life, all right? What you will do every single day, a system, a routine, and that will help you be consistent 
in life. You got to set boundaries. That's number uh, five. Set boundaries and rules for your life that you will not cross. That's so important to be consistent. If you don't have boundaries and rules, guess what? You probably won't be consistent in life. Here's another one that I think is really key is that you have to develop core values for your life. Write them down. Core values, things that you will live by. Um, core values. I have core values in my life that I've written down and that sets boundaries in your life. And it um, also allows you to be consistent in life that you're not doing one thing one day and something totally different the other day um, that doesn't fit your core values in life. Have a personal written mission statement. I've done that and that helps me to be consistent in life. It sets boundaries for my life because I have a mission statement. This is what I'm all about, everybody. Also, you want to try to find a mentor, somebody that's going to uh, hold you accountable. Um, if you can't find a personal mentor that's uh, live, that lives around you, listen, what I have done is I have YouTube mentors, people that are on YouTube. They don't know me. I don't know them, but they're my mentors. I use them to mentor me in various areas of my life. You got to have a mentor. All right. Also, you want to fuel your passion, fuel your, fuel your passion, um, because and you got to do that every day. Uh, and that means listening to motivational speakers, talking to people that are already doing what you want to do to achieve. That will fuel your passion. That's so key because sometimes you're going to have day down days where you don't want to do um, or pursue your uh life pursuit or your dreams or your goals and so forth, but you need some, a little jump start um, every day. And sometimes just listening to people or reading books that will motivate you, that will do it for you and get you going uh, for today. That's what I have used. Um, those are the things that I've used to help keep me consistent and help me reach my life pursuits. Um, now, increasing your level of consistency will add power to your life. You will not only begin to trust yourself, but others will begin to trust you, put trust in you because you're consistent. You'll be able to accomplish more of your goals. Why? Because you are consistent. Um, you will be considered exceptional simply because you're a consistent person. You know, there is power when a person becomes consistent. You become a really powerful person person. Just think about it. Uh, a constant drip of water. That's powerful. Doesn't seem powerful, but it is a constant drip of water that's left unto itself will give you a, a big utility bill. Powerful consistency, a con just a constant drip of water. You know, Chinese used to use a constant drip of water on a person's forehead, um, to torture them. Uh, that consistency, there is power to it. It would drive a person insane, that consistent drip on the forehead. So there is power in being consistent. And the opposite is true when you're inconsistent. It causes you to be powerless. And there's so many people that are not reaching their goals, their life pursuits. It's because they're inconsistency. One day they're doing it, the other day they're not. One day they're doing it, the other day, they're not. One week, they're doing it. Another week, they're not. One year, they're doing it. Another year, they're not doing it. So they're not consistent and they don't reach their goals. And we want to be powerful people. And the way that you can, the way that you can reach your life pursuits and your goals is you have to get a hold of this discipline, this virtue called consistency. You got to be consistent. And if you follow those nine keys that I gave you, you will develop a in, increase your level of consistency in life. This is what I've learned, everybody, over the years. There's one person and one person alone that is the best example on how to achieve a consistent life, and that's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only one in this the top side of this earth that has lived the most consistent life. And if you want to learn how to be consistent, why not go to a person who lived a life that was consistent, extremely consistent, 
and that was Jesus Christ. Jesus consistently lived a life that was according to the will of his father in saving humanity. He lived a perfect life. He lived in accordance to the law of God perfectly. In fact, the Bible lets us know he didn't violate one principle of the law of God. He was tempted at all points, but he did not sin. In fact, this is what the Bible says. He yielded to the will of God every moment of the day. This is what it says in John chapter five in verse 30 about Jesus. I can do all. I can do nothing on my own initiative. This is what Jesus is saying. As I hear, I judge and my judgment is just because I do not seek my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And so he accepted and loved everybody equally because he lived a consistent life. He uh, accepted the rich and the poor. He accepted and loved equally men and women, his friends and his enemies. Why? Because Jesus lived a consistent life. And that same consistent life that Jesus lived, you can live too. There is power available to you, just like Jesus had power to live a consistent life, you have power to live a consistent life. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. It is in Christ, it is being connected to the source of power, God, that will give you the power to live a consistent life. You know, there's one thing I like about the gospel, and that is the gospel of Christ is an appeal to live a consistent life. That's right. The gospel is about living a consistent life. And uh, the verse is, uh, be perfect even as your father in heaven is perfect. That verse is telling us that we ought to live and we can live a consistent life just like God. Isn't that wonderful? That means we can love our friends and our enemies the same. We can um, live with, we can consistently live within the boundaries of life that God has set and the rules that God has set for our lives consistently. We can live a consistent life and that means we can achieve our life goals in Christ Jesus. That's good news to me. That's our devotional thought today. If you want to be successful, if you want to achieve your life pursuits, number one, you got to be committed. Number two, you got to be consistent. This is Tune Up Thursday. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, we're going to shift gears, everybody. We're going to go to our devotional, uh, not our devotional. We're going to um, uh, go to our prayer time. If you have any prayer requests, send them on the comment line. And I'm going to pray with you today. I always say it. I'm going to say it again. I've seen God do some incredible things. He is the same today as he was yesterday. That's what it said about Christ. He lived a consistent life. Christ the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. And he's consistent in answering prayers. But only those things he will answer are the things that are good for us. And so if you have any prayer requests, send them on the comment line. And I will um, pray especially for you today. All right, Barbara, thank you so much for uh, tuning in to Tune Up Thursday. Uh, Carmen, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I don't know if anybody else, sometimes this comment line is not working the best for me, uh, but I am going to take those prayer requests that you have. All right, Dwight Alexander, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, we're going to pray uh, for Barbara now. If you have any uh, prayer requests, send them on the comment line. Listen, I know that God is going to hear and answer our prayers. Heavenly Father, I'm asking that you would remember Barbara in a very special way. Uh, she has a very uh, a unspoken prayer request asking that you would remember her family, her friends. Remember the Capital City Church in a very special way. Help her. Help us. We need your help so very, very much. And we know that there is nothing too hard for you. And so whatever is going on in the life of the Hayes family, we place it all in your hand. And I'll shift my gears. I want to pray for my own family. Oh, God, I'm asking that you remember my wife, my children, as we travel, as we um, we're just asking that you would just continue to preserve us and most of all, save us in your kingdom. 
um, in Jesus' name. Amen. Anybody else? Do you have any uh, prayer requests? Please send them on the comment line. I don't see them uh, if you're sending them. So I'm gonna send, I'm gonna just do a general um, uh, prayer and just to trying to cover everybody. If you have any prayer requests that I cannot see, Heavenly Father, I'm asking that you remember each viewer. There's some that's that's on now. There's others that's gonna come on later on. I'm asking you, Lord, that you would just touch them in a very special way. Whatever their prayer request is, we're asking that you would answer it according to your will, that is, which is best for them, and that will bring glory and honor to your name, whether it be finances, whether it be health, whether it be relationships, whatever it might be, whether it be decision-making, asking that you would remember them, that you would answer their prayer request according to your will. Thank you, O oh God, for Tune Up Thursday. Thank you for jumpstarting our day today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you again. Thank you, Janet, uh, for coming on. Janet Weeks, thank you for coming on. And please, need you to share this on your timeline. Um, hit the like button. Those things are so very important. Listen, check out my YouTube channel. It's the Tune Up. Check it out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, very important uh, to me. And um, it will help other people uh, in their uh, pursuit in life and so forth. Uh, please, very important to subscribe. Check out my YouTube channel. It's the Tune Up. And I'm getting ready to do some incredible things later on before the end of the year. Doing some intensive Bible study. And I want to make sure that you are part of it and other people um, are a part of this. Um, just want to give you an announcement. On next week, next Thursday, I will not be on live, but I'll be back on the following week. So don't tune in uh, because I won't be on. Um, just continue to keep me in prayer. And please, again, share this video on your timeline. There's so many people that are not consistent. They're trying to achieve things in life, but they're not achieving them. They're not reaching their goals. And they need to know that commitment and consistency are two key virtues and disciplines that is needed. Not only uh, to be successful in this life, but to be successful in the life hereafter. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Tune Up Thursday to jumpstart your day to bring joy to your morning.